Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire perfume collection. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my full collection is all about, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Well, hello, beautiful souls. This is my entire perfume collection, sort of. <laughs> this is about, I would say, 99% of my collection. And... I really, really wanted to talk to you guys about my full collection. I'm not going to go into detail about every single one because we will be here forever. So I'm going to try to minimize the cuts that I do because it, we're going to be here forever. But first we have Bouquet de Hongrie along with Velvet Tonka. This one here is Citrus Riviera. This one is Passe Soir, the OG. And then we have Tabac Rose here. This is one of my favorites from the house and Passe Soir Extrite. And behind Velvet Tonka, we have Tuberus Imperial. We have Gris Charnel, the OG. And then last, we have Gris Charnel, the Extrite. So that's my full BDK collection. I really enjoy this house, and we're going to go on to my second house on this list which is Parfums de Marley one of my favorite niche houses in my collection we have Melior here along with Oriana behind Melior we have Valaya then we have Delina La Rose the OG Delina of course Delina Exclusive. She was my wedding day fragrance, so she's very special to me. Definitely in my top 10 for life. And last back there is Kassili. I'm definitely going to have to reorganize these because look at that. <laughs> like I said, we have Oriana here. And I only have two from the masculine collection. I have Greenlee and I have Altair, which I have a dedicated review on. And then we're going to go ahead and get into my House of Siash fragrances. So I'm going to go ahead and start off behind here because uh, the space was limited. We have Cheval d'Or. And this is their Rose fragrance. This is the only signature collection fragrance I have that's a full bottle currently. The newest House of Siash fragrance in my collection is Wednesday right here. Wednesday is the newest one. They sent this over to me and they sent over Mini 100. Everything else I purchased myself. So I recently got on their PR list and they sent over these two. But Wednesday is the newest one. I'm going to be talking about that one. This is Mini 100. The 100th anniversary. Super cute. The OG Mini. She is beautiful. Then we have Mickey here. Mickey Mouse, he does his thing. And then we have my favorite from the house, Wonder Woman 84, which I actually have a backup bottle of in my closet. Y'all will see that a little bit later. And one of my newest obsessions, Hufflepuff. So that's all of my House of Siage fragrances. And now we're gonna get into Fragrance Dubois. First we have Milano. So Milano is first. I'm gonna try and get these out. Then we have Oud Jean Intense. This is my favorite from the house, Oud Jean Intense. Then we have Minoui Ademi, which is my second favorite from the house. And we have Oud Orange Intense, if the camera will focus. Yeah, Oud Orange Intense is there. And my favorite cozy scent from the house is Santal Complet. That's all of my fragrance Dubois fragrances. And then we're gonna get into Kaoli. So Kaoli, this is the newest one in my collection. This was actually sent to me from the brand. This is my first PR from them. So shout outs to Kaoli for this one. I just got it in the mail today, so I can't talk much about this one, but you guys will be hearing my thoughts on it. I am gonna wear it for New Year's Day, I believe. Yeah, this weekend I'm gonna be going to Dallas, so this is gonna be what I wear. And I'm gonna talk more about this in a vlog, so. Be on the lookout for that. So that's Sparkling Lychee, Eden Sparkly Lychee. And then they sent over the OG Eden Juicy Apple, which I already own. I have a full bottle of. Then we have Utopia. Y'all, I purchased all these fragrances myself. I have so many Kaolis. This is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This is Invite Only. This is my 50 ml of Vanilla 28. I also have a 100 ml coming. 
this is elixir 11 and this is love fest which is one of my favorite kaolis definitely in my top three starting from the back we have my second vanilla 28 that's my 100 mil i keep her on deck for the house my 50 mil is my travel and then my young pistachio gelato 33 my big boy eating juicy apple oh love it and that dent is nice and then my newest kaoli that i actually purchased is this one right here i want to kind of talk to y'all about this one this is musk 12. this gives me um very cozy musky vibes very feminine very dainty effortless very much so a bedtime scent but i recently got that from selfridges so that's pretty pretty new in my collection now we're going to get into Navitas. This fragrance here is Miel Extas. I talked about that in my recent video. If you haven't checked it out, please do. And that's the collaboration with the Dear Makeup Diary Karina. This is a Baklava Royale, which was the collaboration with Gabby Loves Perfumes. This right here is Absolutio. This is their old packaging. I bought that back when they first launched. So this one's like a Baccarat Rouge 40 twist with like a caramel toffee vibe. Very nice. This is Idola. This is the collaboration with Big Beard Business. Now he's the Triple B way. This is also from that collection. This is so exclusive, so sexy. Then we have Creme Imperial. Oh, me smacking that down is making me nervous. <laughs> then we have Ambrosia Imperial. Have a dedicated review on that one. That's the AI The Great collab. And the newest baby is this one right here, Amorous Intense. I can definitely tell y'all this is giving exactly what the girls said that it was supposed to give. Now, the only thing I noticed about my bottle is I do have those floaty things that people were talking about. So they said it's not a quality issue from the research I've done. So I ain't tripping about that. I just want to let y'all know I also have one in my bottle. I do have those in my bottle. And then we have Monte Cassonade, y'all. Y'all, Monte Cassonade has been a force to be reckoned with. That's the Sharita M collab. And then we have my Dua fragrances. So I have five Dua fragrances that I got during their sale. I'm going to start off with the back. This one is the Pistachio Cream. Yeah, Pistachio Cream Delight. These are so tiny. My camera doesn't even want to focus on it. So Caramel Cream Delight. I have Blueberry Cookies. Next I have... This one is the Choco Milk Treat. And then we have some of their inspired fragrances. So this is White Milk, which is in... Okay, focus. All right. So this one is White Milk. This is inspired by Bianca Latte. And then right here we have The Poem, which is inspired by the new Creed fragrance, um, Carmina, I think it's called. So I'm not really familiar with dual fragrances, so that's my first experience, and I'm trying to let them macerate a little bit and then tell you how I feel about them. But now we're going to go ahead and get into my Mancera fragrances. I hope my camera starts focusing a little bit better. We're going to start off with Coco Vanille. And Coco Vanille is just oh, so beautiful, so perfect for a vacation. I'm going out of the country next month and I'm contemplating taking that. I'm going to do a video about what I'll be bringing. Next we have Amber Fever. And then we have Aoud Orchid. Love that fragrance. Super, super unique and mysterious. And then a Gourmand Lover's Dream. Ooh, Velvet Vanilla. So good if you love vanilla fragrances and you want to smell like a cake, baby. Like a cake. This is Jardin Exclusive. Very, very nice scent. Love that. It definitely is ambery and very nice. This is Melody of the Sun. That's for my citrus lovers with some woodiness. And then this one right here is one that I don't hear people talk about a lot. This is Aou Cafe. It's really nice caf it's a really nice coffee fragrance. I was gonna say caffeine. Really nice coffee fragrance. And then we also have a uh, gold prestigium, which I think is really sexy. It has oud vanilla. It's very masculine, but it also has a sex appeal to it, which I love. So this is my clean, classic, clean reserve collection. These all were sent to me besides yeah, no, these all were sent to me from the brand. They have been very, very generous with me. So I'm going to start off with their new H2O collection, which I have a video coming up very soon. This is a Nectarine Petal, and that one's really, really nice. I'm going to be talking about these in detail individually. We also have the Golden Citrus. 
Next, oh, I'm gonna really have to reorganize this because I am messing this all up. Next, we have Brilliant Peony. So these are the three that I have, but there are two others that I definitely wanna add to my collection. Next, we have Radiant Nectar. Very, very pretty, musky floral fragrance with some fruity touches. Skin, this is the Reserve Blend. This is the Clean Reserve line. That one is so, so good for like an everyday effortless scent. It reminds me of Must 12 from Kayali. So if you can't get your hands on that one because it's been discontinued, go ahead and try out Skin from Clean Reserve. This one is warm cotton, literally smells like laundry, okay? Balm laundry detergent. And then we have Solar Bloom. And Solar Bloom is a really nice fruity fragrance. It's like a solar floral fragrance. It's very nice for the summertime. I'm not really into those type of fragrances, but that one has grown, really grown on me. And then this one is Sparkling Sugar. This is one of my favorites from the collection. I would say Skin, Sparkling Sugar, one fragrance from this line, and hmm, maybe Warm Cotton are my favorites from the house. I would definitely have to say and apple blossom which is coming up so this is a beach vibes right here very nice beachy scent very easy to wear this is rain from the clean classic line that's like your dewy green fragrance this is apple blossom very very pretty very pretty apple scents floral as well then we have my orientica fragrances i'm not going to talk about these three in the back because i'm not going to lie i'm not that familiar with them i've had them for a while but i haven't tried them it's like ones like cure day orientica and stuff but i do have these three from this line i do want to test them out and talk to you guys about them though so i'm gonna just say that first we have amber rouge it definitely gives baccarat rouge 540 vibes but a third of the price if that this is royal amber Really love that. It reminds me of Herba Pura. Next is Oud Saffron. Definitely gives Lancome Oud Bouquet vibes, which I have coming up very soon. Next, we have my Sense of Wood Fragrance Collection. This is Bread and Chestnut. Very, very underrated gourmand fragrance. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, and it does have a woody, bready type of vibe to it. This is their also popular Plumbing Cognac. Very pretty. Really love that scent. And then Praline and Maple is another underrated gourmand fragrance, but it's super sweet. If you love super sweet fragrances, you would love this one. It kind of has like this smoky touch to it as well. Now these next three are going to be my Victor and Roth Magic Collection fragrances, which also have been discontinued, unfortunately. But this one is Lavender Illusions. Love that one. It's really nice for bed. Very calming, but fresh at the same time. This one's my favorite. This is Dancing Roses. Literally smells like rose and like a cherry Jolly Rancher. Oh, so good. And then we have, this one is Liquid Diamonds. And this one literally smells like laundry as well. Like a white cotton, like linen t-shirt. Like a white linen t-shirt. That's what that smells like. All right, now we have my day three fragrances. And these were also sent to me from the house. This fragrance is Philosophia. This is their newest release. So good. I'll be talking about that very soon. We have La Tacita de Cafe. Very nice coffee fragrance. I love coffee fragrances. I love tea fragrances. And those just, oof, they just hit the spot for me. And that one's good. Ambar um, Dominicano. Oh, that is, oh, I wore that the other day. It's so good. We're going to talk about this house in a full house review because they're sending over a few more. So... Thank y'all if you're watching. And then we have Bonnie, which is a beautiful fruity floral fragrance. It has a little bit of a tropical twist to it as well. So that's definitely going out of the country with me next month. Then we have my Maison Francis Kirkjean fragrances. You probably can tell what they are by the bottles. Of course, we have Baccarat Rouge 540, the OG. We have Gentle Fluidity Gold. And then we have Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrite. These are staples in my collection. I really, really love each and every one of them. But of course, if I had to choose one, it would, of course, be Baccarat Rouge 540. I would say, uh, I would say the Extrite, not the original, but the original just has a very special place in my heart. My wife bought it for me the first time, so I just love that. Next, we have 100 Silent Ways from Nishane. And we have Ani from Nishane. Ani is probably... One of my most complimented fragrances in my collection for winter. I always get complimented on that whenever I wear it. And then we're gonna hop on to my Seven Virtue fragrances. We have Vanilla Woods and we have Lotus Pear. I just noticed that the caps are different. 
Wow, I think they upgraded their caps. Wow, that's crazy. I'm just now realizing that because I never really looked at the caps. Whatever. Now we have my Maison Margiela fragrances. This one is Tea Escape. It's a tea fragrance. Very green, aromatic. It's kind of citrusy as well. I don't think that it's sold anymore yet. I think it's discontinued. This is Coffee Break, my favorite from the entire line. It's a creamy coffee fragrance with some lavender. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's very cozy. And then, of course, we have By the Fireplace. Like, why not? <laughs> we always have to have By the Hold on. Be right back. Okay, so <laughs> we're back. <laughs> my son started crying. It's like 11 o'clock at night, y'all. So I'm trying to get this out to y'all. But anyways, we have Fresh Cream from Philosophy is next. And then, of course, I have Warm Cashmere right behind it. I want to experience this house a little bit more. I think I want to try, like, the um, Grace fragrance. All right, next we have some more discontinued scents. This is Roses Barbaranza from Lancome, their private line. And then we have, of course, Oud Bouquet. And I'm not picking these up because they're so heavy <laughs> and so loud. Um... And then we have a Lavande's Tree Anon. Let's bring her up to the front, talk about her a little bit. So Lavande's Tree Anon is one of my favorite lavender fragrances in my collection. She's very pretty. She literally smells like sugar cookies with lavender sprinkled on top. So I really, really love that fragrance. And then we have my C's from Giorgio Armani. We have, of course, OG C. Can't, can't talk about C's and I talk about the OG. And then we have C. Fiore. I have a backup bottle of her in my closet. She is discontinued, but she's gorgeous if you can find her. And then we have C. Le Parfum. That's more of an incense sexier version of C, which I do enjoy, but a little bit goes a long way. And I haven't really been wearing it, but I'll pull it out in 2024. We have C. Passione. That's just a nice fruity floral fragrance and with some freshness, you know. And then we have C intense the eau de parfum this one is discontinued but they have like another one in its place and now we're gonna get into my zerjavs this one right here is cruise del sur 2 gorgeous mango fragrance it reminds me of jamaica because i wore it in jamaica a lot and love it oh lira vanilla lover's dream everyone who loves vanilla and loves like a citrusy vanilla pretty much loves lira or has tried it then we have one of my favorite fragrances of all time. This is Italica. This one is in my top 10 for life. Love that scent. If y'all want a, you know, top 10 for life video, I'll do it for you. We have Herba Pura. Can't go wrong with Herba Pura. And then we have Amabil. Amabil. I think that's how you pronounce it. Next, we are on the third row. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. I'm really not trying to waste too much time. We have Choco Musk here from Al Rehab. And then we have Shagaf Oud Amar. Very, very pretty scent. Very pretty scent. Sexy. And then we have Shagaf Oud Azrak. That one is more sensual. And then we have my two from Swiss Arabian. My casablanca so we have casablanca the og and then we have essence day casablanca or casablanca extrite which i have a dedicated review on so if you want to hear my thoughts on that one check it out i would say this is kind of like my middle eastern <laughs> corner but i do have like middle eastern fragrances other places but this one here isn't a middle eastern fragrance this is burberry edt burberry her edt and then i have burberry her intense right behind it and then we have Bright Peach from Maison Alhambra, which is the Bitter Peach dupe. And then we have Tobacco Touch, which is the Tobacco Vanille dupe from Maison Alhambra. And then we have Crystal Love for Her from the Atar Collection. If it'll focus, there you go. And then we have Hayati as well from the Atar Collection. I also had Kahit Nights, but one of my family members stole it <laughs> no she didn't steal it she just wanted it so i gave it to her and i decided to go ahead and buy another one next we have kamra from latafa and then kamra kawa this is affection which is the yum pistachio gelato dupe this is the og yara and then we have yara moi right there now we're going to get into my Zara fragrances. We have Pink 
flambe this is a cherry smoothie oh such a good cherry fragrance i don't know why they discontinued it also another good one a sweet pastry literally smells like lemon meringue pie then we have vetiver pamplemousse very nice easy going citrusy fragrance and then we have ebony wood very edgy woody aromatic fragrance very very sexy and sensual and then we have marshmallow marshmallow <laughs> marshmallow addiction which is a really nice like flirty candy like fragrance i think that one's discontinued as well they always discontinued the good stuff so i have two just set parfums fragrances and i have um the gourmand bacour creme de la creme and then the original gourmand bacour they have changed their packaging so it doesn't look like that anymore but the scents are the same very beautiful smoky vanilla fragrances dolce and gabbana the only one and then we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, Intense, right here. I do prefer the Intense, not even going to lie. My wife likes the original on me, though, so this is one that I keep around for her. <laughs> and then I have two from The Gate Fragrances. This is Sensual Dreams, and I also have Memories as well, so that's those two. And then we're into my YSL Fragrances. We have Mon Paris. She's a classic for me, literally one of my favorite fragrances in my collection very nostalgic one of my one of my first big girl purchases on my own when i was an adult this was one of the first fragrances that i bought and then we have a black opium lay parfum if y'all know me i'm a black opium girl as you can tell i love black opium fragrances and um, this is the og black opium this is another big girl purchase for me and this is why she is a staple in my collection literally keeping black opium for the rest of my life so she's definitely in my top 10. this one is black opium nude blanche i have two of them so this is the backup bottle that's right behind it this is my favorite flanker they just came out with a cherry one so i do want to check that out because again like i said i love me some black opium this is ysl lieb intense i do enjoy the intense more than the original but the original is very sexy and then we have angel share from killian we're into my killian fragrances now and then we have princess here in the old bottle it takes up so much space oh and then these two right here are my love don't be shy bottle so i have the um black bottle and then i have the white bottle right there so i have two of them just because i love the dna there is a difference but i do enjoy them both i have my vanille and sensei from atelier cologne and my love all samanthus back there just chilling Next, we have my Born in Romas from Valentino. I cannot think of what this Valentino Born in Roma fragrance is called. I'll leave it on the screen. And then we have Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. And then we have the OG Born in Roma. This is my second bottle. I love the OG. I do want to get into more flankers. So that's going to be interesting. This is from Giovanna Antonelli. This is 811 Absoluto. And then we have 411 Intenso and 611 Extremo. All right, now we're into some celebrity perfumes. We have my Eilish fragrances. I have every Eilish. This is Eilish number two. This is Eilish number one. And this is Eilish number three, which I am going to be talking about in a video coming up very soon next we have my giardini de toscana fragrances this is bianco latte and this is bora bora which is a very nice tropical fragrance i love i gotta stop pulling these fragrances by their caps like i'm gonna learn one day okay so this is alien fusion from mugler this is alien Eau sublime from mugler and then we have angel muse edt now these three right here are my Elizabeth and James fragrances. I really don't feel like getting them. So I have Nirvana Black, Nirvana Bourbon, and Nirvana Rose. And then I have my Chloe Nomad fragrances. This is Chloe Nomad, the original, and then Chloe Nomad Absolute. And then we have two fragrances that are pretty new into my collection. These are from the House Juice Parfums. This is Anda Luisa, and then this is Spicy Delice. Spicy Delice looks like that. These are two that are pretty new to my collection. And I do want to test them out before I talk about them. 
this is from gallery of perfumes shades of seduction and cognac cafe again i love me a good coffee fragrance it's a boozy coffee fragrance which is a vibe y'all i'm sitting crisscross applesauce now <laughs> So we are down to the last two rows. So we have two rows left. I hope y'all are still here. I think we're just going to do this all in one part because I'm not even going into detail. So let's get it. We have my Bellhem Perfumery Fragrances, Poets of Berlin, very unique vanilla fragrance. We have Mango Skin, literally one of my favorite fruity fragrances in my collection period. Definitely top 10 for life and one of Wifey's all-time favorites for me. This one right here I'm going to talk a little bit more of. This is Moula Moula Rouge Extreme from Byron Parfums. Everyone knows about Double Caramel, you know, maybe the, the OG Moula Moula, but Rouge Extreme is so good. I love the original as well, and this packaging is their older packaging, so they've even upgraded their stuff. But this one is so sexy and sensual, and that raspberry note is to die for. And the oud isn't too much. It's not too much in that fragrance. And then we have the Chronic, which is one of my favorite uh, leather fragrances this has leather in it but i wouldn't say this is an overly leathery fragrance but it's very very sexy and seductive byron parfums does a very very good job with their scents and i'm excited to see what double caramel smells like now we're going to get into tom ford and i am going to go on a little bit of a rant okay maybe not today maybe not today but i do want to talk about the new vanilla you know scent that just came out i don't know if i can say because i don't want to get demonetized or whatever but yeah the new vanilla scent that they came out with i smelt it it smells nice it does not stink it smells very good i was gonna buy it but 395 dollars for 50 mils crazy 250 dollars for 30 mil is crazy especially for what you get now i'm not gonna say don't buy tom ford because it's great I have Tom Ford fragrances as you can see but the thing is these Tom Ford fragrances are super unique and that's what I like. I don't feel like vanilla, the vanilla scent is unique and I feel like a lot of us get caught up in just buying things and new releases and want to be the first ones to review them especially if you're like a content creator but if you're a consumer just in general and you don't create content but you love perfumery we can get caught in these I need to get it now before it sells out. I need to get it now to know what it's like. I need to be one of the first ones to have it or whatever. Like FOMO, like no, it's not even worth it. That was $400 that I saved instantly. <laughs> like I can put it into other places and I am putting it into their pl in to other places. Like I said, I'm going out of the country next month. So I'm investing more into my trip, into getting things for my trip. And I'm happier, you know, instead of having that one fragrance, that one review, you know, it's so many other fragrances that I have. So I'm going to get off my Tom Ford vanilla scent, you know, soapbox, but you know, kudos to those who have it. Kudos to those who love it. I'm here for it. If you like it, I love it. And it's not to say that it never will come into my collection. I'm just saying right now where I am in my life and what I have going on, getting that fragrance wasn't really a priority and I've been showing out for December. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. But anyways, <laughs> let's get into Tom Ford. This is bitter peach. I think that that's like a love it or love it or hate it type of scent. But this one right here, I'm going to talk a little bit more about, Ooh, y'all, my camera uh, is getting heavy. So this one is one that I want to talk about more. This is Shampaka Absolute. This is a gorgeous, very underrated and gorgeous Tom Ford fragrance. I hope this one is not discontinued because I would be super sad. It's a beautiful tropical fragrance and I think it needs to be talked about more. Next I have Centaur Blush, but this is in the older packaging. I really love this packaging and I've been trying to like not use it, but it's so nice. It's a very, very unique aromatic type of, mm, I would say like resinous sandalwood fragrance but it's more like green and aromatic it's very very unique i really enjoy it and then i have tobacco vanille which i absolutely love it's an ashy tobacco fragrance but it's very beautiful layered with other scents and then i have noir pour femme and that one is discontinued however the noir extreme i believe is supposed to be close to it Next, we have this fragrance right here. This is from Soradora. My Soradoras were sent to me from the house. This one is Malo. This is one of their new releases. And this fragrance is gorgeous. If you love Oriana, you would love that scent. It isn't really, I would say it's not everyone's cup of tea though. So it's not like an easy to like fragrance. This one is Mandorle. Mandorle. 
really really enjoy that one now my house of oud fragrances you can see them so i'm not even going to pick them up but this first one here is what about pop and then we have keep glazed and then we have empathy back there i do want to get dates delight and almond harmony those are the only two i'm really interested in oh i'm lying i want bon bon pop and maybe the ruby one so i think maybe four more that i want to get and then i think my collection will be complete when it comes to the house of oud to be honest then we have my emika left fragrances this one is um ananda nectar very very romantic scent to me this one is note vani nectar and then we have Elangan Gold Nectar. And then we have the OG <laughs> Note Vani. Now this one is in a different bottle now. It looks like the Elangan Gold bottles, but it's white. And then this one is Elangan Gold. I haven't shaken it up so it doesn't look all pretty and gold and sparkly, but it is what it is. This is Jardin de Misfa from Une Nui Nomad. And the brand sent me this one as well as Sugar Leather. So shout out to y'all over there thank y'all so much appreciate it i love those scents and i'm so interested in the house next we have my ariana grande fragrances i have of course cloud pink i have the original cloud and cloud intense so have all the clouds as you can tell i really like them this is rem which i find to be very nice for bedtime and then these two are my two mod fragrances so this is mod vanilla and then this is mod blush i prefer mod blush because mod vanilla kind of smells like cloud to me and that's just my personal opinion of course i have to have flower bomb from victor and roth that's an og for me but my favorite is the ruby orchid this 50 ml bottle is pretty much going to be done next year i kind of chilled on it in 2023 but i'm going to be back on it next year because i really really love it and i missed wearing it this is flower bomb nectar which i also really really enjoy now this one is what makes my wife weak in the knees <laughs> this is victor and roth's bon bon so so good i love the bottle as well so so nice now we're going to get into my inspired fragrance area right here my inspired fragrance area i do have a little gap here and i'm trying to figure out what to put there so we'll see but this first one right here is from be layered fragrances this is caramel overdose that's their love don't be shy dupe and then we have top secret which is a i think it's an original fragrance that they created and then we have my Juliana perfumes. This is Sex on Fire. And I can't think of what fragrance that's inspired by, to be completely honest. We have Inner Beauty Exclusive and Inner Beauty, which is right behind it, right there. And then in the very back, we have Aphrodite's Rose. And I want to say that's Atomic Rose. Yeah, so Aphrodite's Rose is Atomic Rose from Initio's dupe and then this one sex on fire is uh, is that their angelique noir i want to say that's their angelique noir now we're on my dossier fragrances this is amber vetiver which is their balda freak dupe this is fruity oak moss which is their aventus for her dupe and then we have fruity honey which is their nectarine and honey dupe from joe malone and then lastly, this is Floral Lavender, which is their Leave Intense dupe. Now, since we're still talking about dupes, I'm going to go back here. This is my Oaksha Fragrances. This is Dream Fuel. Paris Bloom is another one. I can't think of what that one's inspired by either. I'm not even going to spray it. Not even going to waste our time like that. I know Sinful is their... Is this their... Lost Cherry dupe, I want to say? Yeah, I want to say Lost Cherry i think i think dream fuel was supposed to be their was it love don't be shy mm, it doesn't smell like love don't be shy though anyways next we have my mixed bar fragrances we have vanilla bourbon right here this is like these are my go-to bedtime scents and then we have whipped almond and then we have my theodoros calatini's fragrances i picked these up from greta here on youtube Greta Beth and she has her own you know decanting and fragrance company so if you guys are interested and I think she ships to the US to the UK I think she ships to Europe as well so if y'all are interested 
check them check check her out i'll leave her linked um this is caramel oud and i have velvet chocolate now velvet chocolate right here has stolen my heart recently i picked this up this month this literally smells like brownies like brownie batter all right now we're gonna go on to the next one this is my sangria and saffron from michael malul everyone talks about the honey one which i have a travel size of because they sent it to me they also sent me this fragrance so shout out to y'all thank you but this one is so good it's a boozy juicy fruity fragrance and it's so fun it reminds me of brunch it's very happy it also gives me meliora vibes slightly next we have aqua rose from pearlescent parfums very nice very nice scent we have my Lark fragrances. So this one is Aventure. Then we have Balade. Balade. I think that's how you say it. And then we have Argentum. And lastly, the black one is Evasion. Now, these fragrances I've had for a while, but I have not been able to really like talk about them on my channel because they're very unique, especially Balade. This one's like a unique, like a uh, tropical floral fragrance, yellow floral fragrance. But I'll be talking about those soon, <laughs> sooner or later, you know, whatever. All right, so now I don't know how I want to do this because I'm kind of crouched over. <laughs> so I'm probably going to pick up every single one of these because I'm so low. But this fragrance here is cardamom coffee. Again, I keep saying I love coffee fragrances. So that's from Lush. Love that. This one is a new fragrance in my collection. This is from Jeroboam. This is Unui. Unui. Yunwe <laughs> and the brand did send that to me so thank you guys okay now this is gonna get a little tricky this is serendipitous from serendipity 3 love that one nice gourmand this is a whiff of waffle comb but their older formulation they have an updated formulation we have my Ely Saab girl of now and then we have my girl of now shine next we have my go-to <laughs> thanksgiving holiday scent this is immortel from monos garakinis if you're tired of people talking about angel share for the holidays monos garakinis immortel is the way to go next we have magma from andrea mac i want to get pavilion as well shout out to twisted lily because they sent that over my way and then this one is another dupe house this is fragranza i don't even know if they're still in business i haven't really been seeing them but this is um i'm a amarina cherry i think that's how you say it it's their lost cherry dupe love it is if, if you couldn't tell i love me some cherry fragrances and then these two back here are my rihanna rebel fleur fragrances love them this is the nude and that's the og next we have one of my favorite honey fragrances scandal by night from jean paul gautier and then we have one of my giveaways this is fire at will this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance really really love that one it's simple but it's beautiful it's very easy to wear very easy to overspray which is something i really love about it however the brand sent over remember me which is actually one fragrance i've been wanting to get for so long and i finally have it and i'm so happy it is a chai tea latte fragrance if that sounds appealing to you then that is a good one this one right here is chinoto gourmand i got this from the scent room in dallas this year really nice smells like fruity pebbles i also got this from the scent room this is reunion vanilla from pharmacia and that's a good vanilla fragrance i think i talked about that in my vanilla video whoa <laughs> this one right here is prada's soleil al zenith this is a really nice spicy fragrance and this is from their olfactories like private line and that one's really good i want to check out that line some more but that's the one that i mainly wanted you go ahead and get back on your shelf baby now this one right here is berry tobacco from um heard all thorsing this is a very very nice fragrance i really enjoy that one if you want something like maple syrupy but with like a um, fruity tobacco that's nice this is cafe de parfums eden and it's a beautiful pineapple fragrance but i don't think they're in business anymore i think it's discontinued i don't know this is 4160 tuesdays over the chocolate shop this is a coffee fragrance with a very dark chocolate so it's like a dark roasted coffee with a dark Mm, I wouldn't say like a dark chocolate, maybe more of a milk chocolate. This is Exalté, and this is the uh, Fumi Monet collaboration with Bella Ora. And then back here we have my Amethyst Eclat. 
And we have my Vanille Florine de Tahiti from La Maison de Vanille. De La Vanille, I think that's how you say it. Next, we have my one and only Byredo fragrance. This is Balde Freak. I really enjoy that one and a couple of others from the house, but I do feel like that's a house that's overrated. And then we have Un Jardin in Mediterranean from Hermes. It's a very nice salty citrusy fragrance. And then we have my Guimauve de Nouvelle. This is from Parlez Moi. Moi? Yeah, Parlez Moi de Parfum. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> And then we have one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. This is Appear from Hermetica. They have changed their bottles, but I absolutely love that scent. This is one of my favorite. This is a very nice mango fragrance. This is a black owned brand. This is Oshun 5 from Imperia Fragrances. Beautiful, juicy, delicious mango fragrance. Oh, it's gorgeous. So bright, so fresh, so juicy. And then this one right here is a hug in a bottle. This is Saint Honoré from Stephanie de Bruhin. I hope y'all haven't been crooked this whole time, y'all. I'm on my vlog camera, so I'm holding it one-handed. <laughs> Now, this one is a nice nutty fragrance. This is Madeline from Mosca Milano. This is Un Vini from Obvious Parfums. Next, we have my one and only Louis Vuitton fragrance. This is City of Stars. And I blame Aisha for this purchase because she persuaded me to get this when she did her Love Like or Let Down video. And I'm like, you know what? I need to get into more you know fresh citrusy scent so got that one and it's great i absolutely love it this is montal's infinity this is the fragrance that celebrated their 20th anniversary i believe this year very nice scent very very sexy speaking of sexy we have frustration from etat lib and orange i think that's how you say it yeah frustration is really really nice nice chestnut smoky woody fragrance and then this is from my og baddies out here if you know about moschino fresh couture gold you're a baddie for sure that's one of my older fragrances in my collection as well really love that for a night out now the one of the newer fragrances in my collection probably the newest one that i purchased is this one right here this is triumph of bacchus from our girls parfums and i'm gonna get birth of venus after my no buy you better believe it this fragrance is gorgeous and the bottle like i cannot get over how beautiful this bottle is and the scent is even better so that is definitely coming out of the country with me i might even take that this weekend to dallas we'll see then we have a pretty girl scent right here this is miss dior super pretty a cozy scent of mine, one of my favorite cozy scents is Feb Delicious. Unfortunately, it has been discontinued in the U.S., I believe. Oh, they're always discontinuing the good stuff. We have Arabesque from The Merchant of Venice. That bottle is stunning. I do want to try that house out some more. And then we have Tamarindo from Memo Paris. Beautiful tropical fragrance. And then another cozy scent we have... The Dig and Voltaire. This is her beautiful, creamy sandalwood, gorgeous sandalwood fragrance. Oh, love that one. And then Gourmand Coquine. This is my little 30 mil, and my decanter is in my closet. And then we have Golden Nectar from Nest. This is probably one of my favorite fragrances at Sephora, to be completely honest, under like 100 bucks. I think it might be just under 100. Okay, this one is Jimmy Choo Fever. That's Jimmy Choo Fever. Really pretty. One Umbrella for Two from Floraiku. Another unique gourmand is Rose All Day from Gallagher Fragrances. And then we have Creation E or Enigma from Raja Parfums. And then back there, of course, we have good girl i do want to get a couple of other good girls but we'll see but that's one wifey likes on me as well this is sweetie aoud from raja parfums we have say noir the new beyonce perfume i have a dedicated review on that one and then we have my one and only amouage this is love tuberose if you love a creamy white floral fragrance with some sweetness you would love that one this is Black Tulip from Shea and Blue. 
Now this one, I don't know if we're going to break up or not, but she's not, she's not doing it for me right now. This is a ginger biscuit from Jo Malone. I'm going to try her some more with other fragrances. And then we have my one and only Initio. This is Paragon. Super, super calming and cozy scent. Very calming, very tranquil. And then we're on pretty much the last row at this point. We have Nirmala, which is a very underrated, very affordable scent. Love that for the summertime. And then we have Chirosa 61 Eau de Parfum. That's basically the Boom Boom Cream in a perfume version. And then we have Juicy Couture, Gold Couture right here. Another one of Wifey's favorites on me. And this is one that's very nostalgic as well. This is Max Candy Yum Yum. It's backwards. Wow. This is Candy Yum Yum from Mac. Turquatic is also very nostalgic as well. And then we have a new Arabian fragrance in my collection. This is Fire Your Desire. I believe this was like 20 bucks or something like that on Amazon. It was crazy. It's supposed to be um, an angel share dupe. And then this one, I haven't worn this one in ages. I don't know how I haven't decluttered this one yet because I don't even remember what this smells like. This is Miel Sav Savage Sauvage from Amor Oud. I think I think I want to try that one out some more. And then last but not least on this row, we have... La Via Belle Intense Mint from Lancome. So now we're going to go ahead and go to my closet and I'm going to show y'all my fragrances over there. So I know things look chaotic, but um, just bear with me. Bear with me. This right here is my, I don't know, I might declutter piles. So I do have fragrances here. If anything looks interesting, y'all DM me <laughs> because I think I'm going to let these go. I think... I don't know. I'm very indecisive. That's why they're here because they're like, should I declutter? Should I not? So I guess I'll talk about them since they are in my collection. But all of these right here are all of my Bath and Body Works. I have so many. So if y'all want like a Bath and Body Works collection, I can get that. These are all of my Sol de Janeiro fragrances. I did do a Sol de Janeiro collection video. And then like I told y'all earlier, this is my backup bottle of my Wonder Woman 84, which is one of my favorite fragrances from the house of siage if not my favorite i think it might be my favorite and then this one is my oriana little 30 mil my gourmand coquine is back there my backup of delene exclusif backup of c fiori so basically my backups some hair perfumes some extra body stuff it's pretty unorganized <laughs> but that's what i have so here we have Mugler's Angel Au Crocier. This is the 2020 version, no, 2019 version. And then this is the 2020 version. I remember everyone wanted to get their hands on this. These are ones that are really hard for me to part with because I'm like, do I want to keep them? Do I not? And then this one right here is Luna Delice from Exendus. We have Rain, the Reserve Blend from Clean Reserve and Aqua Neroli. These two just are my least favorites. I would say I like Rain more, but... I don't know. Aqua Neroli is very, very, very citrusy and clean and fresh. This one, um, Valencia, this one's a little too masculine for me. And then we have Katy Perry Indivisible. That one's nice, but I don't wear it, so yeah. This is a Baklava from Perles and Parfums. This one smells nice, kind of like in the dry down, but it has this like olive oily type of, I don't know, situation in the opening I can't get with. And then this one is one that um, is definitely on the chopping block. This is Russian Tea from Mosque Milano. It's just too aromatic for me. I don't like aromatic fragrances like that. This is Daisy Love Skies. I like this one, but I don't wear it enough. Um, I don't know why this is down here. My mom gave me this one. This is, um, what is this called? This is called Thinking of You from Mary Kay. My mom gave that to me. So that's going back up there. Don't know why you're down there. This is my Burberry Black. I really like this, but the patchouli in here is very, very heavy. And I think the heavy sweetness with the heavy patchouli is throwing me off. That's why I'm like really iffy about Angel Mule's EDT right now. Because that heavy sweetness with the heavy patchouli is like not rocking with me. And I love me some patchouli. Now, this one is Call Me By Your Name from Juliana's Perfume. And this one is their Gourmand Coquine dupe. And since I have Gourmand Coquine, I'm like... I'm I'm good with my gourmand cocaine. And then we have Red Carpet Affair. I don't remember what this one 
I don't remember what this one is. I probably should put those back because I really like my Juliana perfumes. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to declutter this. These, this is Head Over Heels. I don't even remember what that was either. And then we have another Hermes fragrance. This is um, Eau de Merveille Blue. That was just an aquatic blue fragrance, marine fragrance. We have an OG here, Sophia from Sophia Vergara. I haven't worn this fragrance in so long and I'm like, I need to get rid of it. Now this one I'm definitely going to get rid of. I cannot stand this fragrance. This is um, Montegain. This one is very vintage. It smells very vintage. If you like to smell vintage, this is for you. It's not for me. I try to wear it. I try to like it, but I can't do it. I cannot do it. And this fragrance, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I got it from Amazon for like 10 bucks. No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh. No, that is going. I don't even want to sell that to anybody because that's crazy. All right. Now we have my Escada fragrances. Escada Love something or another. We have my KKW fragrance, the pear one. Which one was this called? Crystal Pear and Peony. This is really, really old. And then we have my Pilar and Lucy, the exact friction of stars. It's just a vanilla scent. <laughs> and then we have my Lancome Lana We Tresor Nude. And then we have my classics back there. We have Fancy from Jessica Simpson and Britney Spears Private Show. And then we have my fragrance oils up here. We have... Um, my Maison d'Orient, we have my oil perfumery, we have Nest, um, this one's really nice from the um, Perla Nura, we have my Delina body oil, that's pretty much my collection y'all, that's all that's in here. So if you've made it this far, huge thank you. If you are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos, just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot for today's video. Leave me hashtag 15k because we just hit 15k about a week or two ago and I have a very special treat coming for you guys at the top of the year. So leave me hashtag 15k in the comments so I know you guys made it into the end. I love you guys so so much and I will see you all in the next one.